Rather West Kentucky Museum, located on the Murray State University campus, recently welcomed the exhibit Art for the People, New Deal and WPA in Kentucky. The exhibit in Rather focused on how the New Deal and WPA impacted the area at an important time in our country. So the importance of this whole collection and this exhibit um, is that the New Deal actually worked quite a bit with Murray State and in Murray specifically. It built the old football stadium. It built um, the new fine arts building. They also paved several, several roads, including Olive. In collaboration with the Clara M. Eagle Gallery, Art for the People, showcases local community and university involvement in the Works Progress Administration, WPA, which was developed by President Franklin D. Roosevelt as a part of the New Deal to support public works projects and artists. The Rather exhibit features photographs of area projects, including the nearby Kentucky Dam. Bedrock. The drag line loaded to dump trucks. This equipment transported the excavated material to fills in areas being prepared for the construction plan. Power shovels were used Bedrock. later. Blasts were large in the area and broke the rock at a natural bedding plane. The rock was removed by power shovels, which loaded to eight and 10 cubic yard trucks. These hauled the material suitable for riprap to a storage could be picked up. The New Deal and the WPA greatly impacted Murray State. With the help from the government, Murray State was able to reach more of its potential. It's important to show the work that was done because the New Deal came in at an important time in Murray State's history. Um, we we're a pretty new college by the time the 30s hit, and so with the Depression, it was pretty hard for us to get things done and get things going. And so with the help of these programs, we were able to help build the college and continue um, offering higher education to people who are interested. Students in the community will now have the opportunity to see how something that is usually thought of as just another page in the history books impacted the place that they call home. And so I think it's interesting to see, um, especially for students, how the city that they live in and the university they're going to is built by something as important by the WPA. So we're doing um, a few smaller exhibits just highlighting some of our collection here at Rather, but this fall, starting September 25th um, through the beginning of November, we're doing a Harry Potter exhibit. It's traveling from the National Library of Medicine, and it focuses on how the stories of Harry Potter draw from the Renaissance time, so both in terms of medicine and stories that are told in imagery such as owls. So that, that'll be here and we'll do several lectures and we're going to do trick-or-treating for kids with that. Um, and then in the fall of 2018, we're bringing in a traveling exhibit from the Smithsonian called Hometown Teams that focuses on the importance of um, local high school and college teams to a community and how that helps build a community together.